Oh, okay. House work. My Alright, Facebook. Hey, Phil's are here on this Wednesday, July 31st. Doing this ATO Braves. Doing this ATO Braves. Um, ATO Braves Facebook Live. We're going to get to watch the Nationals. Had some technical difficulties early on, you know, in the top first. Currently, you know, it was low enough for a long time. So I couldn't really get it started right off the bat. But now, we up and running. Let's play. Let's really play ball. I'm doing some by strike quick. It's going to be in my face because I'm eating. It's my first meal of the day, so and I refuse to eat on camera. I don't want to make anybody hungry. Don't want to make anybody piss off that I got food in there, so I'm not gonna. So out of respect for y'all, I don't eat on camera. So let's watch some ATL Braves baseball. You know, it's my first. ATL Rays Facebook Live of the season. Haven't really got a chance to do any because, you know, I'm either migrating during the games or it's just situations that, you know, while I be at, it just, you know, just can't make it happen. Almost done with the invite, y'all. I will be participating in the chat. Just one second. I'm also going to be keeping up with the uh, trade deadline as we speak. So, see the Braves make any moves while um, all this is going down. We got about three hours to change to make any significant moves if there, if there are going to be any. You know, it's like my first Facebook Live. It's my first Facebook Live on Space this year. So I know I haven't really gotten around to doing any. Um, I know I don't really do any uh, Facebook lives uh, during the offseason. So. All right, there we go. When I get done eating, you'll see my face. But in the meantime, you can hear my voice. So. Meanwhile, uh, we're in the bottom first. Uh, Adam meeting is up for the Nationals. We already got an um, out under our belt. Full count for Mike Soroka. I think Braves went 3 3 down the top first. And we got, got him out just like that. It's two outs. I know I'm, I'm not getting a lot of attention here because a lot of people are at work. I understand what we saw, you know. Not like some of y'all can break away and watch the stream. All right, Anthony Rendon's up for Nationals. He's batting third with 3.18 batting average. It's pretty good. Nationals against September. Take huge two games swing if Atlanta wins this one. They're six and a half games ahead of them, and won't see him for six weeks. You see Rendon talking to flowers in the box. He's always loose, great personality. He probably said, 
man, that sinker I pulled was pretty good. This era of launch angle and inflated home run totals for myriad reasons. It's easy to understand your point about Mike Soroka and his low professional home run total. Just five homers, 107 innings pitched. And this one cued right off the end. Of the Get him! It's out of there. So, end of the first. Braves zilch. Nationals zilch. And no hits on either side. If you got me on Twitter, please, please be patient. I will try to... I will try to do updates throughout the game. Nothing is happening yet as far as the trades. Second inning is on now. Josh Donaldson is up to bat. Yeah, that's going to be a ground out. For um, Nationals. First out. We've seen one storybook start to a season by oh, okay. a young Braves player, Austin Riley. I think this is a storybook return to the big leagues for Adam Duvall. No, great story. We've talked about it in the last couple games. How great he has been in AAA. His numbers up here, probably the best thing, or the thing that impresses me the most was his attitude when he was sitting down. in the big leagues. He had great years in the big leagues with home runs and RBI for two years. Made the all-star team and was requested to go back to AAA because he was struggling in a bench role as a punch hitter. Well, he has seven hits for the Braves last year. Seven hits. He has nine hits in his first four games with Atlanta this year. So that hard work with Mike Grumman and Bobby Mighty Ennis now in AAA has paid off. He's back. Oh, it's harsh to it. Very well could be that the Braves who are starting at losing the Carcagas might feel pretty comfortable now with what Adam Duvall is doing. Be a very small sample size. There was some speculation that when that went down, maybe they being Alex Arvantos and the staff. Oh, that was on the wrong way. Meanwhile, Adam Duvall is up. Last night he had a hell of a game. He had two home runs last night. 
which was very key to the Braves winning 11 to 8. Yep, I was going on the wrong way. And it's going back! Out of here, baby! Adam Duvall is still knocking it out the park. Home run! Braves won Nationals zilch. And that's also the first hit of the day for the Atlanta Braves. The first hit in this game in general. Uh, Got to re-upload that video I just dropped on Facebook because I uploaded it. No, I don't. No, I, I can move it. Let me see if I can move it. Braves country, eight fields are here, which on this Wednesday, July 31st, 2019. And I've been meaning to do this video early in the week. Can't move it. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to re upload it. There we go. And the end is the artillery with a single just now. That's what I'm talking about. Now he's 270 feet away from um, getting the second run. Johan Camargo should be coming up next to bat. I don't know why I didn't catch that. <laughs> Bad all uh, tripping out on uh, MLB Central. MLB Central, are Giants making a mistake if they don't trade Bungarner? I don't know. That's up to them. And talk, talk. And Ty Flo with the double. I was like, he had a home run too. That was deep, bro. He got him a double. NCRT moves up to third. We got runners in score position. Who's coming up next? It's a bad eighth for the Braves. You have to like the way this game is starting. Sanchez hot coming in. Bottom part of the order hitting. Flo getting out of the box. Ronald Washington said, hey, big guy, you got to get down that slide. He said, I know, I know. But he got a double. Soroka last time Mike had a bat in his hands in Washington. It didn't go particularly well. Holy walk. Bases loaded. So Mike Soroka is at the bat with a point zero eight six batting average. No home runs, but he got three RBIs. Let's see what he can do with the bases loaded. Nothing right now. It's five ball. Flashback. He got hit on his right arm. Mike said he felt that form cramping up almost immediately, and there was a big welt. See? Mm. He was taking no chances. He was not a happy camper. I bet he wasn't. Shit. I'd be pissed off, too, if I got hit in the arm. Ben 
Strike two. I ain't trying to hit him again. Come on now. Damn. Hey, One and two. Here we go. Good hit. But it's going to be a double play, and that's going to wrap it up for the top second. So after that, no more runs come across the board. So it's ATL Braves one, Washington Nationals zilch. But I think the hard layer of bad order is coming up. So let's see what happens in the bottom second. Fix this. Should work is out of order.
in the heat, so come game time, your body's prepared. Monsoon leads off for Washington and takes a strike. Well, the game time you follow the advice of and practice teacher for Jones, you're going to be in real good shape. I've always believed the ship was hydration plan. I think that's a great way to prepare for the heat. There I am. Make sure it's working now. So right off the bat, once I was putting my plate away and getting the kitchen acclimated, crazy over a home run. So it's 1-1 one, one. here in the bottom second. No outs. Uh, I think somebody just walked. So who's a, a Gerardo Parra, Parra, whatever. He is up. That is the stupidest thing the Nationals are doing. Like, what the... It's like a, I don't know if y'all watch college football. Y'all know like the Florida Gators do the chomp, uh, Gator chomp. This is like a bootleg version of that. Like they doing all of this. Like what the fuck is, what the fuck is that shit? Like bootleg Gator chomp. They don't ever need that again. Retired after this season. Bad throw to Rocker. Alright, we good. I'll see if I can edit this shit, though. Strike two! There's a couple things. Number one, as a pitcher, you don't want to face your former catcher, especially the year after they caught you for whatever reason. You just have the feeling they know it's coming. He threw a four ball long to Zook, very rare for a Soroka. You also have that. All right. In the meanwhile, we got the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates getting ready to. Um, oh, they already started. They already played ball. Meanwhile, three and one. Crying out loud. Come on now, Soraka. Come on. This is where he calms himself down and makes his pitches to see if he does it again. 
get it right in the strike zone. Strike two. Full count. Let's finish them. How's it going, Sonia? I see you down there in the comment section. There you go. That's one. That's two. Get him out of here. Yeah, this is definitely out of order. I got fix this. Come on, third out. There it is. There it is. As long as he don't drop it. That is it. And the second inning is over. It is Braves 1, Nationals 1. I know, right? What's the point of being better than everyone else if you don't get to act like it? I think I'm better off being better here. Good, because we're Planet Fitness, a place for everyone else. Planet Fitness, the judgment free zone. Join Planet Fitness and pay just $10 a month. Join in the club or online. Not all water is created equal. Only one billionth of one percent is filtered naturally. And it purchase crisp and refreshing enough. All right, now in the third inning. Who's at the bat? Ron Acuna? Yep, Ron Acuna's at the bat. Hard lineup going to come up. Down low. So we got Sanchez even with his solo home run himself. And now he's going to 
Jesus behind it, Cunha, two balls and a strike. Chasin and Brandon Woodworth injured. Walking needs pitching. And Faria headed back to Milwaukee in that deal. There will be more to come. The line at 4 o'clock. Full count. Full count. The biggest trade last night was the Trevor Bauer deal that sent Yassiel Puig and others to the Cleveland Indians. All right. Should be a double. Run, run, run. There's that double. Yes. Got another double from uh, from the Oz. And that Braves home run Acuna. The Braves are back up two to one. All right, Freddie Freeman's up to bat now. Last night game, he's averaging .467 batting average, on base per, on base percentage 585, nine runs and 1.119 OP. <coughs> Opponent pitching something. Hypothetical trade. They're talking about Yankees getting Madison Bumgarner and the San Francisco Giants in return getting. Devi Garcia, who is the Yankees' number one prospect, with a 3.90 ERA, 14.1 strikeouts, and 85.1% innings pitch in minors. Yeah, it's definitely out of order. That's the last one. Braves Mars, no, Braves Mets. Yeah, it's definitely out of order. That's not including the. Where is it out of order, huh? As you see right there, great job. I love that swing down one, two. He hooked the ball. It says, Josh Donaldson, you're on two. Your turn for the RBI. We'll see if you can do it. So Washington down a run. He'll bring the infield in for Donaldson, who tapped out to Turner his first time up. This can't be a fun situation. That's why it's Josh. No, it can't. In such respect. 
I think the video's gonna be out over there. That's probably what it is. I don't like I'm able to fix the videos. Oh no, Josh Donaldson is stuck out. God damn. All these videos are out of order. Now, most of these videos are out of order. Not all of them. And that's what it is. The videos are out of order. There's no way I can fix those. So we got two outs. Adam the balls up the bat. Two balls, one strike. We need to hit the ball. Yeah, out of the ball. Full count. Strike out. You got to be. Oh. So after that, it's two one, and we're in the middle of the third now.
Cheers, bet. Get him out of there. Good job. It was a look, guys. I ain't paying attention on the game. All right. So, bottom third. All right, got the one out. So, it's coming up the bat now. No, it's not in the ball center. As I say, he came up. Oh, oh, excuse me. So, I guess we're going to. Say thirsty. Mike got the pitcher up there, two balls in his back for Sanchez. And about the Indians, you know, since May 24th, the best team in baseball record wise, Washington Nationals, 38 19. Oh, so fast. Who's big beast that I just traded for? Just pay attention to the damn stream. You'll find out the score. Shit. I'm going to tell you right now. All right, Sanchez struck out. So now we're going back to the top of the order for the Nationals. Oh! 
So that'll be strike one. I'm not really paying. All right. Yeah, strike one. Strike him out. Let's get him out of here. There we go. Oh, foul ball. Now we got him. Hey, Annabelle Vas Vasquez was watching. So was John Manning. With that being said, I'm going to um, give me something to drink. No alcohol, at least not today. You know, still middle of the work week. Got a function. Probably going to drink again to Friday. But anyways, that's the end of the third inning as we speak. The score is Braves 2, Nationals 1. I'm going to give me some something to drink, a non-alcoholic beverage before the game returns. Let's talk about 25. Oh, I don't say 10 seconds.
see that happen, it, it means something. It means something different. So, you know, uh, as long as for a week, 10 days, two weeks, you know what's there. You've seen it. You can hold on to that. Popped up. defensive outfielder yes. too. He's very comfortable at right, very comfortable at left. He's not learning how to play the outfield in the slow way. No disrespect to Austin Riley. Knowing how to play it and learning how to play it in games of this magnitude down the stretch are two very different things. So last year, Duvall made some very key errors. One was in right field. He looked a little bit different last year, so the Braves didn't see that. To center. This has been busy in the back of that ball carry out. See both, and then the walls changed his swing. He's different. And I'm not saying that he's going to hit 380. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying he's changed his swing. And with a swing that was not as good, fundamentally sound, meaning into the zone quickly, stay long into the zone, and leave. He was in and out of the zone quickly last year, chopping down the wall. Sanchez, 60 pitches, 45 strikes, maybe too many strikes for any ball so far in the game. He's given up five hits. That's a good pitch. Split the plate, but right at the knees. We saw Tyler, one for one, again, caught Sanchez last year. I said it earlier, as a pitcher, he hate facing former catchers. So you just, you don't feel good. So far, Sanchez has looked better in this at bat. Hey, nice play by Kamar going to the other deck, sir. Gets a hand for the net. And he takes the foul. No balls or strikes. Does anybody smile? Gotta give him some milk. I been sitting my knee last week. That was not a fun feeling. So I gotta get my bones strong again. I said milk makes your bones strong. So I always drinking milk. All right, who's struck out? It's up, and it's gonna be a foul ball. 
and Johan Camargo is up. One ball, two strikes, with two outs in this top fourth inning. His first at bat, he walked, which brought uh, uh, Mike Sirocco was set up double play in that inning. The second inning, I, I, is it? the second inning that is. So this is second at bat of today. All right, meanwhile, trade deadline storylines. Looking to add help relief. The Braves were part of that. So were the Dodgers, Twins, and the Red Sox. Was it the Dodgers? I want to make sure I get all these teams ready. Okay, what is the Dodgers? Yeah, Dodgers, Braves, Twins, and Red Sox are looking to add relief help. I thought the Dodgers had a really strong... Um, I thought they had a really strong bull... Ouch. I thought they had a really strong bullpen. Looking for an edge in NL Central. Cubs, Cardinals, and Brewers. Will they be flipped? Oh, by the way, um... Okay, go back to the game. By the way, uh, Johan Camargo with a single just now as I was reading the um, headlines there for the trades. We got about less than three hours for the trade deadline. Who is going to make a move? Who's going to make a blockbuster move? That is. Well, Strowman, they, I think I read about that yesterday. Yeah, Strowman traded to the New York Mets. I don't know who they're trading for, but who cares? The Mets will still suck, so it's not going to matter. Yeah, Soroka is 0 for 1 today. This is his second at bat. He's already down the eighth ball with no balls, two strikes, and he got a hit! Woo! Man on second and first. We are striking with the hot iron. The iron is hot, baby. Let's go! And on top of that, we're going back to the top of the batting order, which means Ron Acuna is up next. This will be his third trip to the bat, I mean, third trip to the mound today. The batter's box, excuse me, on, not the pitcher's mind, the batting box. And today, let's see what his number is for today. He is one for two. He has a run, and he has a double. Let's see what he, he's going to add on to his third at bat. He's going to get a strikeout. He's going to get a home run. He's going to get a double. He's going to pick up his first RBI of the day. Let's see. Right now, he's already down one strike, though. Strike one. by the way. He's 90 feet away from a score. And, and the Oz is coming up next. Let's go, baby. All right, strike one for Ozzy Albies. In the meantime, Acuna is still second. As y'all know, this is Ozzy's third at bat as well. He is one for two. And just like that, ground out. And the top half of the inning is over. So the Braves add another run to the mix. It is three to one. And the Braves have eight hits to the Nationals one. So we're hitting like we usually do. 
Now let's just hope Sorok uh, Mike Soroka can hold firm in the bottom four. Hopefully we can get a one, two, three out, just one, two, three inning, just like that. And I hope the guy that Braves can have some more runs because until they do not mess with my discount. Because until we make moves with this bullpen, we need to score as many runs as we can because I'm not comfortable in the free one game. I don't, I don't think too many people in Braves country. I don't think most of y'all are comfortable in free one league games. Zero. All right. I think we just got a trade alert. Astros acquired Martin Maldonado from Cubs for infielder outfielder Tony Kemp. That's a rumor. So I don't know if it's true. I think I see something in Brewers as well. Holy shit. San Diego Padres may be out of the North Syndergaard Sweet State and maybe the Yankees are as well. So, Brace, get in there. Get in that sweet steaks. You, you, you can get North Senegal here in, in eight. Uh, you can get North Senegal here in the ATL. Go get them. I'd rather have Senegal than freaking Massive Bongo. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. But yeah, what was that one about the Brewers? Okay, here we go. Okay, he hasn't posted anything. All right, trade alert. Multiple sources report Tampa Bay Rays acquire first baseman Jesus Aguilar from Milwaukee Brewers for right-hand pitcher Jacob Ferrier. So, with that being said, it looks like Aguilar is on his way to Tampa Bay and Jacob Ferrier is on his way to Milwaukee. And if you are late to the Braves news, you would have noticed that yesterday... I mentioned this in my video that's now up on YouTube, uh, excuse me, not YouTube, Facebook. I mentioned that last night, the Atlanta Braves did make a trade. They traded Kobe, uh, Kobe Allard, you know, a uh, minor league player, to the Texas Rangers in exchange for Chris Martin. So Chris Martin is now an ATL Brave. So let's see what he can bring to the mix. Let's see he could be a some of an upgrade from what we have currently. And now the bottom four. Oh, let me fast forward this. If I haven't done so yet. And the bottom fourth is now in action. Up to bat now is Adam Eaton. He was. He grounded out last time, I think. All right. One and one. Uh, uh. I'm done with that. And it's deep. Not that deep. Enough room for Ron Acuna to catch it. And he is out of there. Back to the bench you go out of meeting. Back to the motherfucking bench. All right, right in the middle. Strike one for Anthony Rendon, who is up to bat. This is his second at bat today. He is 0 for 1. Meanwhile, um, only other game I, I know is on right now is the Pirates and the Cincinnati Reds. Since I do not have the game mix anymore, I am unable to give you give you updates on scores on other games right now. And I think the Yankees are about to get ready to start up too. I know they're they're a one o'clock game today. They're going up against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Recap last night: the uh, Yankees lost four to two to the Arizona Diamondbacks, and I think the Yankees have lost four of their last five games. Uh, I know they recently played the Red Sox, and the series did not go well for them. I think one of those games they were beating nineteen to three. How the fuck do you lose nineteen to three in this day and age? It's not even the fact you lost the Red Sox. It's the fact you lost 19-3. You don't, 
You don't do that in today's MLB. Unless you're going to get some Braves. That's the only time you should be losing 19-3. You're going to get some Braves. And with this offense, you, you can easily lose 19-3 to the Braves. Meanwhile, uh, Anthony Rendon, two balls, two strikes for him. Let's get him, Soroka. Let's get him out of here. Just let on outside. Full count. For the ATL, uh, for the ATL race, for um, Anthony Rendon. So with that being said, either he's going to get a hit, he's going to strike out, or he's going to walk the first. One of these three things are about to happen right now, or he might foul. And he walks the first. Anthony Rendon safely to first. Still got no hit, so <laughs> take that. Yeah, so that's what just picked up a hit. There's a second hit of the day. Courtesy of one Soto, I think. Yeah, one Soto. He's responsible he's for that hit. He got a single out of that. And Rendon advances to third. So the Nationals have a runner in score position right now. Anthony Rendon, 90 feet away from diminishing the Braves lead to one. But the good news is, if you're a Braves fan, the Braves are in position to get a double play to end the inning without giving up a run. But let's see what happens. Coming up to bat right now is ex-Atlanta Brave hitter, Kurt Suzuki. And I'm not going to lie, he was, he was barely memorable on the Braves. I, I remember him for one year, that was it. I'm not trying to talk shit about him, but I, I just honestly remember him for one year. All right, strike one. This is the second at bat as well. Obviously, this is all the players second at bat. Previous his previous at bat, he walked to first, so he has no hits and no yeah yeah that's it yeah. So obviously he has no he has no hits. As y'all know. Until one Soto had that hit, their other hit came off a home run, which is why the Nationals only got one run to begin with. So, and we don't care because it's the Nationals, and I don't have any Nationals fans on my pa my Facebook page. So, I, f I feel like I have the right to say that we don't care because we don't. Internationals, why the fuck do we care about y'all? You're nothing worth caring about. Stole that franchise from Montreal. Y'all should be y'all should be ashamed of y'all. So, still that franchise from Montreal. They are trying to send. They trying to send a raise up there. Get him out of here! Double play. Take that. Get the fuck out of here. And that and that is the fourth inning in a nutshell. Atlanta Braves three, Washington Nationals one. Freddie Freeman, great catch, you know. You know, he hit it right, Kurt Suzuki hit it right to Freddie Freeman's glove. And Freddie Freeman hustled back. And tapped one Soto. And tapped first before Ron, I mean, one Soto were to get back, which concludes the double play. But the Washington Nationals believe that one Soto beat Freddie Freeman back to first. They are challenging it. But I think he's either... He, Either it's going to be inconclusive or the play's going to stand. I don't think... The, I honestly don't think it's going to be overturned. <laughs> and one of those always try to talk shit. For no reason.
He might get lucky, Fred. I don't think there's enough evidence to overturn. Let's see. I think Freddie may have got him. Either Freddie got him or it's not going to be enough evidence. I don't see them overturning this. I think this is going to stand regardless. And the play stands. He is out of there. The fourth inning is over. Shut up, National fans. Shut the fuck up. All right, all right, all right, y'all, boy. Y'all shut y'all ass up. Woo! Okay. I was going on with the Pirates and the Reds. I see they're on TV. MLB Network is showing coverage from that game. And I think I just seen some while I was uh, going at the Nationals fans. I think the Reds just got a home run. So I think they're up 2 nothing on the Pittsburgh Pirates. Meanwhile, tomorrow on MLB Network, these are their games that are going to be on the MLB Network slate. One o'clock you have one o'clock Eastern you have the San Francisco Giants taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh fuck the Phillies, so go Giants there. And then you got the nightcap, part one, seven o'clock Eastern. You have a big time rivalry in the NL Central. Chicago Cubs and the St. Louis Cardinals. It's it's always a great rivalry between the Cubs and Cardinals. And it, it went away so fast, I did not catch the third game. So here we go, ten o'clock Eastern. This is the, um, the headliner of the nightcap. We got the San Diego Padres heading up two hours or less than two hours up I-5 to L.A. to take on the L.A. Dodgers. So there you have it. That's tomorrow's slate. And they're showing um, the, Cub uh, not the Cubs, the Reds Pirates game from April 7th. Where they almost had a, um, a fiasco happen. And ironically, last night, it was damn near another fight in the um, Reds Pirates game. Go fucking figure. We get it. We, it's, a, it's a somewhat variety between Cincinnati and Pittsburgh, you know. Obviously, NFL, we got the Bengals and the Steelers in the same division, AFC North. And then MLB, you got the Pirates and the Reds. Same division there, NL Central. Neither team has, neither city has an NBA team, so, and obviously if they did, if either team did, if both teams did, not either team, both teams did, that they will be in the same division there. Uh, NHO, there is no hockey team in Cincinnati, but you do got the Columbus Red, uh, Columbus Blue Jackets, which is right up the highway, highway seven, uh, I-71. Pittsburgh does have the Pirates, uh, not the Pirates, the Penguins, excuse me. Mix it up my sports here. And I think the Blue Jackets and the Penguins are now in the same division as a, a couple years ago. I know the Blue Jackets were in the Western Conference. They got switched over to the Eastern Conference along with the Red Wings due to uh, expansion and uh, NHO. So the uh, Red Wings and the, uh, not, the Red, not the Red Wings, uh, the Blue Jackets and the Penguins are in the same division now. So it's always going to have that rivalry feel between Pittsburgh and Cincinnati slash Columbus slash Cleveland. The Blue Jackets, Blue Jackets play in Columbus, so they don't play Cincinnati, nor do they play in Cleveland. But yes, it was it was about to be a fight yesterday in the uh, Pirates-Reds game. I know they don't like each other, goddamn. You don't expect a fight to happen in two, they didn't happen in two games, though, so, on the real. Meanwhile, the Braves are back on. Oh my God! He went right after the Pirates. Oh, that thought, y'all. He went right after the Pirates dugout. He was, he was ready. So he was ready to knock somebody out. Who was that? Not, it wasn't Joey Votto. Please don't tell me it was Joey Votto. Oh, it was Garrett. 
Oh, he got mad because he got a home run off from him. What you mad for? I'm, just say, I'm, I'm dead serious. You mad because he got a home run off you? You got to go fight him? Man, you deserve to be suspended for the rest of the year for that. You're a poor sport, Garrett. You're a poor fucking sport. And I wish you would go to Atlanta and do that shit this upcoming week. Oh, that's right. You won't be playing in Atlanta this upcoming week because uh, you're going to be suspended before the, uh, yeah, before the Reds come to Atlanta. Poor sport. Get mad because uh, he got, got a home run hit off and now you want to run to the Pirates dugout and start a fight for no damn reason. They went and he stunned him. They went and he stunned him. They were like, they were just chilling. Oh, it don't help matters when you're uh, getting your ass handed to you 11 to 3 as well. So, it, it man got mad for no, it man got mad. He was, he was a sore loser. Get him out of here. Suspend his ass. You won't be in Atlanta either because you're not be playing in that game. You'll be suspended. You deserve, you deserve every suspension you got. Don't get mad because somebody hit a home run off you. That, that's, a, that's some sore losers type shit. My bad, Braves country. Let me, I'm just, let's get back to our game. It's already two out. Ooh. Who's that, Tigers and White Sox? From year 2000. Yeah, but he got... Oh, shit! He got socked in his eye. Yeah, apparently, uh, dude got hit with the ball, and he, he was not very happy about that. He let it be known. But, yes, uh, anyways, uh, Braves already got two outs in this uh, top half of the inning. Uh, Freeman and Donaldson, I don't know they struck out or whatever, but they they both are out. So, Adam Duvall is up to bat. This is his third at bat. He is one for two, as y'all know. He got a home run early on in the second inning. Yes, yeah, second inning, he got a home run. Meanwhile, Buddy from the White Sox got socked in his damn eye back in 2000. He got dead good. You hate to see that, but when you get dead good, you just, just got to give him credit. You know, he got, he got the shit that down. He got dead in his eye. And I think Duval must have struck out. And just like that, the top half of the fifth is over for the Atlanta Braves. No runs, no hits. Still 3-1. So we're halfway home. Watch the Nationals are coming up two bats. And I think we get I think we're near the bottom of their um bad in order too. Yeah, we are yeah, we're getting close to the bottom of their um bad in order. So you know, para. So para, Dozier, and Robles, uh Robles? Yeah, Robles, Robles, whatever. I don't I don't talk Spanish. Know that I speak it that fluently, so I for the longest I thought it was Robles. So uh, Ro Robles, they all they all do it for the Nationals in the bottom fifth. So six, seven, and eight is coming up, and if they manage to get a hit, then we'll see um, Anibal Sanchez is in it too. So Amir Garrett speaks broad versus Pirates players and manager David Bell. Hey, manager. You would need him in that shit. All right, so here we go. Pirates and Reds is today now. So Suarez with the two-run homer there, and the Reds are three nothing as they are now in the top fourth. So far, it seems like a clean game there in Cincinnati. Cincinnati be traveling down I-75 South after today as they head to Atlanta, Georgia, to take on our beloved Atlanta Braves for a four-game set this weekend, starting tomorrow. 
I'm gonna bust their ass. I'm gonna bust the shit out of them. Meanwhile, uh, Draw Opera is up next, up now for the Washington Nationals. He is 0 for 1 today. And Soroka throws a very bad throw just there. So it's ball one. Right now, I, I, you know, they talk about the fights and shit, so I'm not hearing anything in regards to the trade deal. I mean, first trades going on, so apparently Atlanta and Braves are not making any moves. Foul, strike two. I, I just see the same thing. Uh, the Maldonado trade to the Cubs for Tony Kemp, and I'm also seeing um, Jesus Aguilar try to trade travel, trade it to the uh, Tampa Bay Devil Rays for whoever the um, I forget. So, what, not that important because it, it doesn't involve the Atlanta Braves. And Power will ground out. Will be you know, he will ground out there. He almost got one though. Maybe he had a little bit more power, he probably got a hit. So he is down. A uh, piece of chili in my, my gun, so. So Dozier is up now for the um, Nationals. He is 0 for 1. He had a fly out in the second inning. With a .240 bad nap, 15 homers, 39 RBIs. So he's having a decent year. Down low, ball one. Very down low. Watch Mike's glove. He'll change his grip. The most complicated grip he has is the, the change up. So he will wiggle it. You see the movement right there. You have to do that on every single pitch. If you fall into a pattern, down low on the other side. Ball two. So it's two and two count for uh, Dozer. Soroka needs to go ahead and strike them out. Uh, if you're pitchers you have, the better chance we get to have to keep you in. Got him! Strike three. Back to the bench you go, Dozier. That is the third strikeout of the day for Mike Soroka. And coming up now is Robles. Or Robles. I have you pronounce his goddamn last name. Right. No chance. Don't chase it. Fuck. So All right. Let's see. Okay, Victor Robles. I didn't know the first name was Victor. I knew his last name was Robles. I can't remember his first name for a lot So Victor Robles is up now. He is 0 for 1 today. He has a ground out in the third inning. He's this season, 0.244 batting average. And I can't see the rest of the shit because whenever he's so fast, I don't really care. Because this is what I care about. Him getting the fuck out of there. Three up, three down. And the fifth inning is over. Still three to one, though. So, in Isiarte, Ty Flo, and Johan Camargo are due up in the sixth sitting. So, we're getting towards the bottom half, for the bottom part of our batting order as well. Game the fuck on Washington Nationals. Uh, I'm working on this uh, video right quick. I'll plug this in because I don't want uh, copyright. Which is a huge part of why y'all don't haven't really seen any uh, Facebook lives this year, let alone during the Braves games. Because like, a lot of times I don't have Hooters. But due to the music 
I got, I got, so I got, I got to make a video explaining all this because this is. Just, I don't think this is a time and place to really explain the whole Facebook lives and li the whole live stream thing. It's, it's really no point in doing it now. I had to say that for another video, but definitely I will touch this topic um, probably the next couple of days because I feel like y'all need to know what's going on with Eight Fools Productions. You know. Now, as far as why I haven't really been posting much about the Braves in the last couple of months, that's, I can't explain that one. I'm not going to try to justify it. I don't want to get up here and make excuses. I just, you know, I, I, I just can't, I just can't explain it. I'm not going to try to explain it. Meanwhile, oh, it's um, highlights. But yes, I will, I do feel like I can explain to y'all about the whole live stream since so y'all know what's going on, so. See, so y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't think I forgot about y'all. I'm still here. I'm still on these live streams. I just gotta know when to do them, though. Meanwhile, here's uh, we got the Yankees. Like I said, the Yankees are in business now. It's two. Oh no, no, no. Zero, zero there in Yankee Stadium. Diamondbacks have two hits. Yankees have one. I think that game's in the bottom second. Now they're showing the Braves highlights on MLB Network. And they're showing Adam Duvall with his home run. And there is the response from the Nationals. And that made it 1-1. Braves did add on two more runs as we speak. Which is the current score right now. 3-1. to one. And Gillian is watching. Thanks for tuning in. Sixth inning. Here we go. Indians. Ender and CRT. It's up to bat now. Ball one. Should I have that? Strike one. Indian CRT is one for two today. This is his third at bat. So let's see what happens here. His third at bat. Will he get another hit? Now on that pitch you want as down low. Ball two. All right. Down low again. Ball three. One more. He's on his way to first. Ah. Just. He just missed it. So it's the full count for an NCRT. Right, here we go. Another foul ball. So I think either the next hit, the next pitch is either going to be an out, a strikeout, excuse me, a strikeout, or a hit. I don't think he's going to get another ball. I don't think it's going to be another foul. Or a walk. I don't think he fouls this time. I think he's going to get a walk or a hit or uh, he's going to strike out. Something's about to happen here. It is a hit! It is a hit! Run under! All right, got him a double. That's a nice hit for the Braves today. All right, there we go. Okay, I thought it was going to be done. It's the first time I've done it all day, too. So, wow. trying to reconnect me. Alright, anyways, uh, Indian CRT with the double. 
Ty Flo is up next. Let's see if he can respond. Let's see if he can bring home Ender. Let's extend this lead, baby. Anibal Sanchez with 97 pitches. So I'm confident this will be his final inning. That means the Washington Nationals will likely be digging into their bullpen, which is uh, beneficial for the Braves because the Nationals' bullpen is worse than ours. And Ty Flo with the hit. And Ender is coming home, baby. And the Braves are going to be up 4 to 1. And that's a double for a top flow. What the hell? He's so fast, he was still able to score on the turn and even be a no throw. Another thing. A lot of people trying to hit me up now. I'm, I'm, live, I'm doing the Facebook Live for the damn Atlanta Braves. All this shit y'all asking, y'all text me, it can wait. Fuck. Hate when people try to uh, hit me up, I mean, trying to text while I'm doing the live stream. It'd be one thing I could do on my crap up phone, but since the camera's not working, I gotta do it on my regular phone. So, y'all, all this stuff gonna have to wait till after the game. And just like that, Anibal Sanchez, I was right. It was his last inning, but he's getting out sooner than I expected. So the Nationals are digging into their bullpen. Like I said, it's beneficial for the Braves because they're the only team, they won a few teams in the National League that, as Braves fans can say, is they got a worse bullpen than us. So, it's time to strike while the iron's hot. Let's, let's, Let's damn their bullpen to hell. Let's work the shit out of them. All right. While the Braves are on commercial, while they um to the Nationals trying to figure out what they're going to do with the bullpen, let's go to MLB Network. Right now, um, no trades, but I think the Braves are the main topic here. Meanwhile, in Cincinnati, Agrizal, uh, the Pirates uh, pitcher, just beating the Reds hitter. I don't know who he was hitting at the time, but he got beaten. But he walked the first, so he didn't go attack him or anything. But the bad news is if you're a Pirates fan, I think I got some of those on my, on my Facebook page. Bad news if you're a Pirates fan, the bases are not loaded. So one home run, this guy could be blown open. All right, Braves back on now. Tanner Rainey, I don't know him, don't really care to know him. He is now the uh, pitcher for the Nationals. He's played in 28 games. He has a 1-3 record, a, uh, ERA of 4.07. His uh, strikeout to walks ratio is, is 2-1, to one, basically. 37 strikeouts to 19 walks. And opponent's average is .191. So his opponent's average is pretty good. Uh, all that other shit, hell no. He's going to work, he's going to work on that. Oh, so they got top floor at third. Yep, so they got top floor at third. He is out of there. Cannot blame him. But meanwhile, uh, Camargo does advance the first safely. It was a hell of a gamble. Y'all right, it was a gamble. And I'm not even mad at him for going for it. All right. Soroka with a punt. He played it down to the sides. He did manage to advance Camargo at the second, but he was out. So that's two outs for the Braves now.
Oh, I gotta do this video right quick, hold on. Yeah, I gotta do this video, so... Then I'll work on this, um... Uh, gotta work on a video for the YouTube. So bear with me. Move that way, because that's a non-factor right now. So I've been streaming for an hour and 37 minutes, as of now. Sounds about right. Now, uh, the Atlanta Braves are back at the top of the batting order. Ron Acuna is now up to bat. All right, he's already down. He's already behind the H-ball with no balls, two strikes. And this is his fourth at bat. He is two for three today. Ron Acuna has kind of been our second best player in the uh, lineup behind Freddie Freeman. Everybody knows Freddie Freeman's best. Ron Acuna is close. I think Ron Acuna has definitely been the second best. And he could actually challenge Freddie Freeman for the best. We'll have to see. But now, uh, six playing braces with 25 home runs and 25 steals in a season. That's Ron Acuna in 2019. And as he was throwing a ball right before I said that. So it's one and two. Made that two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And what a catch by Adam Eaton. And just like that, the top six is over. Four to one, Atlanta Braves over the Washington Nationals as we are in the middle of the six. All right, there we go. Where the players are 
should be out on the field before the game. They do have a, an area that's open. It's uh, not a big area, but it's a place where you can go and, and take pictures or be face-to-face -face with people. I know that's a lot of Braves fans have been going there and talking to some Braves players. Uh, so the Nationals, I think, have found ways. They've done the 95% visibility because they don't want to block you know, the vision of the fans, and they're finding ways to allow that interaction to still happen. Yeah, I'm all in favor. I think it's great. Major League Parks, fan safety, kids safety, paramount, and that certainly is the case now, and if it can be improved, I think it's something we should all get behind. As now we can pinch hits and a lead off block for Soroka. That's how this sixth inning starts. Rarely you see my block three guys in a game, but it has makes things interesting with the top of the order coming up for Washington now. situational averages like Soroka. What I like about Mike third time through the lineup is he has so many pitches he can give guys different looks. And he says, I am always thinking one at bat ahead for that hitter. So if I got a guy out a certain way, thinking of setting them up for the next at bat or if it's a big situation going to my go-to if there's guys on and not worry about the next at bat. So this is a situation for time through down first. Hopefully one for his best most. You can see what strike one he's thrown strike one to nine of the last nine national season. He's already had a better day than his last start. This one is sent toward the gap in left center field. That's going to get down and roll the wall. Now he can. No legs at all. He's going to be waved around. The Braves overshoot one call. Can't throw the ball. He's going to be. Got him! Yes! Got him at the plate, baby. So now he can break. So much for that, huh? Latch you off and get a run. Oh, he made this on my video. We need to make moves. Look like Braves don't want a strong bound. Don't, don't want to give a strong bound in the playoffs. We need mid real pitchers. So. Yep, sure do. Oh, mid. We need mid relief pitchers. That's what he's saying. Yep, sure do. All right, so there's two outs for the uh, Nationals. So after the sixth inning, when the sixth inning ends, and I guess I will start it up now. Oh, what episode is this? Thirty of thirty-one. So at the end of the sixth inning, so 
It's not letting me get out. And the Braves are up four to one as the sixth inning came to, comes to an end. Just bear with me for a second. I'm about to get ready to do a video for my YouTube page. If you wanna, um, if you wanna follow me there, my YouTube page is called it's uh, YouTube.com/slash Ape. No, I don't think I ever changed the title, so or it doesn't. Yeah, YouTube.com/slash Ape Productions. I couldn't remember if I changed the uh, on the um. The website there, uh, the name of the site. So, but just when you go to YouTube, just type in Aphos Productions. I'm actually gonna drop. I'm actually gonna leave a link to the video here on my page. Uh, af after the game, no, I'll leave. I'll leave it during the game. I'll leave it during the game. When I get done, when I drop the video, I'll put the uh, link over here, and then I'll go check it out. Still, we're not gonna upload it on here. Kind of wanna definitely keep this. Brace related for the most part, as far as my upload, as far as, my, as far as what I upload, like only break, none brace material you'll get on this page is on other MLB teams or drink reviews. Okay, okay so that's one, so. All right, so this was this what I'm about to get ready to do. This is Ventura Avenue, episode 31. About talk about Joey Chestnut eating 413 wings at Hooters for National Chicken Wing Day, which was this past Monday. And as you all know, yes, I was at Hooters on Monday. Let me see something quick. I was at Hooters on Monday myself. Not the same Hooters he was. He, uh, ironically, he was at a Hooters here in Georgia. I think it was Mala, Georgia, or it's on. Yeah, it might. Yeah, I think it might have been a Mala, Georgia. But I know. Uh, I heard he was in Georgia. All right. So let's show y'all something right quick. Braves are winning four to one, obviously. And I had to make that quick because, you know, they like to hit you with copyright. And there's a stream. And there's a stream right there. That's what, that's what you're looking at right now. 
last night's uh, last night's uh, last night's score, eleven to eight. Like I said, not very pleased. Not very pleased with the outing. Getting closer. Here we, here we go. Okay, war thunder. There we go. Yeah, when it got me, when it got me some wings myself on at Hooters on Mon oops, on Monday. National Chicken Happy National Chicken Wing Day, July 29th, 2019. And I got to sit with this good looking bum show while I got to eat my wings. Carla, aka Miami. She is great. I like her personality. She's awesome. And and I think she is working again this Friday, if I heard correctly. I know she said she told me she was working yesterday, and I believe she said she's working Friday. But I told her I don't know about Friday because I do have to work. But if I get off early enough Friday, I probably and she's working during the day. I would I will go. Try, I will try to go see her. We'll see. And so if uh, if I do promise another person, I'll go. See, another female, I'll sit with her. If she's not there in Miami. Is, then I will sit in Miami. You know, see her. Because she said she wanted me to come up there, so, you know, why she got a black uniform on. So I haven't seen her with the black on. Because, like, a lot of times, and a lot, you know, I very opinionated about um, the uniforms. I said some girls look better in white and some look better in black. I speak on her because I haven't seen her in black. But if I go up there Friday, I'm pretty sure she's working. I will find out then. And one of my favorite Hooter girls. She's on her way back to she's on her way back to Atlanta right now. She going she's going to school up there. Not gonna leak out. I'm not gonna tell you what school she going to. That's that's not your business. But yeah, she's on her way back to school. Jasmine there. Um, be seeing her again in November. She'll be back. She'll be back in town then. But until then, but until then, just gotta um, see with the other girls. You know, not not like not like they are. Not like I'd rather not sit with them, cause no, I like some a lot of other girls too. Though. But yeah, there's some. It's just when seeing Jasmine and seeing with other girls, so it's, it's always a difference. But anyways, I'm about to do this video right quick, so bear with me as the Braves are up four to one still as uh, we go to the seventh inning stretch. Seventh inning stretch, and it was talking about the August schedule. The Braves do have to play the Minnesota Twins in the month of August. Obviously, you got a uh, series with the Dodgers about two and a half weeks from now in, in the ATL. So, you know, you got to take advantage of that right away. We got to take advantage of both of those series if, you, if the Braves want to be a serious contender as far as playoffs. And the other 22 games, uh, those teams are a combined 438 as far as winning percentage. They are combined 279 and 358 overall. And those opponents are the Reds, the Marlins, the Mets. We do got one game with the Rockies. You know, that game got rained out back in April. So, you know, that, that's a rescheduled game. We got the Blue Jays. Our first of uh, two series with the Toronto Blue Jays. And we got the Chicago White Sox. And I think, if I recall correctly, I'm gonna say, I know we played the Tanians back in April. So... The Twins and the White Sox and the Blue Jays on the American League teams we got left. I know we got, I know we got the Blue Jays and um, the first series is in August. Then we got a second series with them in September. Then we got one more series with the Kansas City Royals also in September. That series is in Kansas City, and that's going to wrap up our American League schedule. I think that can that series with the Kansas City Royals is very close to the end of the year, like late September, if I recall correctly. And now with the Dodgers and the Twins, they have a combined. 0.628 winning percentage. They're between those two. They're 135 and 80 overall. So right off the bat, these are two toughest matchups in the month of August. So you know, definitely gotta take advantage of. More so, gotta take advantage of these other series we got going on: Reds, Marlins, Mets, Blue Jays, White Sox, and that one game with the Rockies. But if we can at least take at least win one of those series with the Twins or the Dodgers, that would be beneficial. That could really help. I hope to God we can do that. But yeah, I just wanted to run that down. Seventh inning stretch is over. I'm going to do my video now, so bear with me. And you'll see my face just one second when I finish. Sorry now.
I've been meaning to do this video on Monday, but I was kind of um, busy and sleeping and all that after I got back from Hooters. And then I wanted to do this video yesterday, but I have to work, so I'm doing it today. Competitive Eater, Joey Chestnut. Y'all may know the name. Obviously, it may sound familiar to y'all. He has won numerous hot dog eating contests. As a matter of fact, he just won the biggest one a couple weeks ago this past July. He's, he's also taking his competitive eating nature outside the hot dog, hot dog world into the chicken eating world. As y'all know, this past Monday, July 29th, July 29th was National Chicken Wing Day. Myself. I was at Hooters that day. Big us to my Hooter girl Carla, aka Miami. She took an excellent care of me that day. Went and got me some wings that day. I guess I don't have the picture on my laptop, so I can't show you the wings. But they're all on my Instagram, they're on my Twitter, and they're on my Facebook page. So I'm pretty sure if you follow me on any one of those social media sites, you will see that I posted the wings on there. But Definitely an awesome waitress. Definitely um, plan on seeing her again probably um, this Friday. I think she says she works this Friday. So, yeah, big as her. She's awesome. But yeah, back to the story. Joey Chestnut, he was at the Mall of Georgia, I think, or uh, another one of those uh, Hooters right outside the Atlanta area. You know, he he got there by 11 a.m. Monday morning, and he, I guess he wanted to eat out the whole story, you know, as far as like the wings. And this man ate a ridiculous amount of 413 wings in 12 hours. That is for starters, that is a lot of wings to consume in that amount of time. Uh, second of all, I think his previous record was 250 or something like that. I think people was like, can he eat more than 250? Can he make it to 300? He did all right. My God. 413. I wouldn't say I'm impressed, but I'm not a competitive eater. And I've never been impressed by competitive. I've never been impressed. In regards to competitive eating, just not my thing. I don't really watch a hot dog contest, but I do keep up with it on Twitter and Facebook because I know some people I follow do watch it and they care about the, the nature of the sport and that some people consider it a sport. Me, personally, I do not consider it a sport at all. So, But, hey, big up to for winning all those gold meat, winning those um, hot dog eating contests. But I'm just, I'm not going to say it's disgusting either that he ate 413. I give him kudos because... That's a lot of wings to consume in that amount of time. I'm lucky to make it past 30 wings myself. I'm just saying. And then I got then I got to do it when I'm not drinking either. You know, if I would have ate, if I would have make it to 30 wings, because a lot of times, why especially on the weekends, I'll eat in the morning. You know that I have to work Saturday morning. I eat then before I go to work, and then I get I'll leave work and I'll drink. I may do some bar hopping. Then I don't really get hungry throughout the day. I don't really get hungry till like maybe like nine or ten in the evening, and then I feel like I'm really hungry. But then when I feel like I I am so hungry, I, I can eat a house. I'll go big, and I'll start eating. Then five minutes later, I'm full. Like I don't even make it past halfway my half of my food. But this guy, he puts me to shame. I. I I would never be in a uh, competition with him. I would lose embarrassingly. Then again, I don't do I don't do any contests. A lot of times, I will lose embarrassingly because I'm not a competitive eater. I'm, I just 
can't eat like that in that nature because one, I'll probably get full too fast, and two, if I try to stuff my face uh, in that amount of time, I might, I might throw up, you know, so. But for him to do this, I, one thing I am curious about, like, is how, how does he manage to, to do that? Like, what, what steps did he go through throughout the um, remaining 11 months of the year? What type of training, that's what I'm looking for, what type of training this man does? To consume that many wings, you know, he like it's already one. Of, it's already one thing to consume so many hot dogs on Fourth of July, but this man consumed 413 wings on National Chicken Wing Day. I wonder what his technique is. Like, what type of training does he do? It's just like it's it's almost inhuman to consume that amount of wings and at, at that amount of time. But he made it look easy. I know they were streaming it. I never got a chance to uh, see the stream. By the time I went to go look up the stream, it was already off off the, on YouTube, so I can't really see that, unfortunately. But hey, big hey, major props to him. I, I, I gotta give I gotta give credit with credit, you know. It just the because we're not many wings. Hey, I, I took my eye out to Joy Chestnut. This dude, this dude is competitive eater for sure. And I think the, I think the good thing about this, I think a lot of reason why some of us can be oppressed. It's because he's American. He's not Chinese or Japanese. Because usually when you hear these type of stories, it's usually from from Chinese, Japanese, Koreans, you know, people from East Asia, you know. You usually hear these type of stories from those type of people. But to hear it come hear it being about American, our homegrown, that I think that makes this field goal story so impressive. You're not gonna see a Chinese or a Japanese guy come to a Hooters in America. And consume 430. We consume that means consume a crap ton of wings on National Chicken Wing Day. You just not it's just, you're not gonna see that happen. But yeah, they got to Joy Chestnut, man. He made 413. That's impressive. I mean, it's impressive. I'm not. I can't say. I, mean, I say I'm so unimpressed because it's 413. But me not be not me not caring about competitive being. I'm not impressed. I think it, it's so impressive because I just don't see anyone. Getting past 413 in 12 hours. It'll probably take me a whole year. Let me see. It'll probably take me a whole year to make it a 400 alone, 413. I'm just saying. But yeah, I just wanted to share this right quick. You know, let me know y'all thoughts about it. Are y'all impressed? What's going on, Steven? Are y'all impressed about this whole? Oh, by the way, uh, YouTube, if you're watching this. I'm doing a Facebook Live of the Atlanta Braves game on my Facebook page. So if you hear me say what's good, such and such, it's because uh, I'm responding to people in my uh, comment section here on Facebook. So I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm double I'm multitasking right now. I'm doing a Facebook Live on Facebook while doing a YouTube video on YouTube at the same time because I mean it feels like I can do that. But anyways, as I was saying, let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section on the roundtable session, whatever you want to call it. You know, are y'all impressed by Joy Chestnut eating 413 wings in 12 months? Are y'all disgusted by it? Does this make y'all want to throw up that he ate so many wings? And like, or you know, you want, you, or you like me, you just like, you're not impressed, but you give the man credit, you know? I want to know y'all thoughts. But yeah, Joy Chestnut, 413 wings consumed on National Chicken Wing Day at Hooters. Like I said, I took my hat off. And like I said, he was at, and I didn't even know this, but like I found this out uh, throughout the day. He was at a, he was at a Hooters in Georgia. Now obviously he was not at the um, one I was at, and I was I was not when he you, you get the story. He was not at Hooters in my city, so it's not like you know he had like a massive crowd or anything. But to actually see him do this in Georgia, you know, hey, I gotta give him credit because like I'm in Georgia, so we were both in the same. We were both in the same state at the same restaurant chain at the same time consuming chicken wings. We just happened to be at different stores. So, there you have it. Troy Chestnut, hey. I took my hat off to you, man. I, I got nothing bad to say about this guy. I, kudos. And maybe one day I might run into him, you know, and I probably will ask him these questions about, like, what type of training does he does for um and if if i can you know if i run it to him and if i can get his permission 
and now I can I'll try I can try to sit down and do an interview with him for for YouTube and y'all can get his socks right off the bat. So we'll see. Only time will tell. All right, my video is done. So now it's back to CMA. As right now we're in the top eighth inning. The, the score is still Nationals. I'll say that backwards. The score is still Braves four, Nationals one. We got a man up first. Looks like Johan Camargo is up to bat. Yes, he is. Uh, Swirl is in for the Nationals now. And he is safe. And there is the Arte. He's safe. He beats the throw there. He is throw second. All right, check out this video. Make sure it's ready. Oh, it's loud. I was loud for a second. All right. And the top eighth is over. So... Four here, Atlanta Braves four. Watch the Nationals one. Nationals coming up to bat right now. Let me go see who's due up for the Nationals. It doesn't say. All right. Just got a trade. Looks like it. All right, Brewers and the San Francisco Giants just made a trade. Mauricio Dubon is on his way to the Bay Area. I don't know who the Giants are going to trade in return. But yes. Um, but yes. Um, Mauricio Dubon is on his way to the Giants. So, Madison Baumgartner was still seeing where his fate holds. I think he, I think the Giants will be trading him within the next hour. I'm gonna try to at least go to the three thirty if possible. Maybe four. I'm not. I, I, I can try for four. We'll see. I'm not gonna um, guarantee it. I think the trade deadline ends at four p.m. So. Oh, this oh Mad Dog says a steal for the Giants. Then again, you can't really trust Mad Dog too tough. But I still say Madison Bond gonna be traded next hour though. So we're in the bottom eighth now. Washington Nationals up to bat. Brian Dozier is leading off the bottom eighth. He is 0 for 2 today. He has a flyout and a strikeout. Is typical closer 
I said I will be keeping an eye out for the trade deadline. We got about an hour and 30 some odd minutes left before the trade deadline is officially over. And it's, you know, so if anybody's going to make any moves, got about an hour and 30 some minutes left to make them. And what a pop fly out. So back to the bench goes Dozier. And Rodney, Francis I think, yeah, Francisco Rodney is warming up. He is getting ready for the top knife. Which is probably not going to help him, help him any good because I think we're going to at least get a couple hits off him in the ninth inning. But if I'm the Braves, I would be getting Sean Newcomb ready after this. After this inning. Let him be the closer today. Meanwhile, um, Soroka's day is done. So Anthony Swarzak is on the mound for the Braves. All he has to do is just hold firm. Do not give up this lead. He's already out to a good start. He already got it out on the first bat. So that's good. Oh, hour 32 minutes and 33 seconds as we speak. That is how much time they got left in this trade deadline. Wait, 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 wait. We're supposed to... All this shit. Okay, it didn't work, so. Let's see if I can save it now. And Roble, Victor Roble is 2 for 2 and 2 here at his at bat. He is 0 for 2 today. And the swords that throws that far left. So that is ball three. And that's full count. Ooh, damn. All right. Okay, here we go. So Pomeranz is going from the Giants to the Brewers. So that's who, uh, that's his change for Dubon. So the Giants are really doing some trades this, um, today. Matt Beckman was trades lately this um, last couple of days. Meanwhile, uh, Matt Adams is up for the Braves, not up for the Braves, for the Nationals with two outs. Hey, we got another trade. Tanner Rourke is going from the Cincinnati Reds to the Oakland A's. He is on his way to Oakland. The Bay Area making moves. First, the Giants get Dubon. Now, the A's get Tanner Rourke. In return, I'm not sure who the Reds will be getting. As Matt Adams just hit a home run for the Nationals. And le the lead is now dim to two. Is this right? Oh, there it is. He dimmed the lead to half. Hey, 
hate when he does it. That's like that. Come on, don't do it like that. All right, Nationals back at the top of the um back at the top of the batting order, which means Trey Turner is back up. And like uh, Chip just said, we will be seeing Anthony Rendon before this game is said and done. And if you're a Braves fan, you're hoping that you're hoping to God that we see Anthony Rendon in the ninth inning as opposed to the eighth inning. Catch it! There we go. We will be seeing Anthony Rendon in the bottom ninth. As the eighth inning comes to a close, Braves eight, Braves eight, Braves four, Nationals two. Braves have 11 hits today. And the Nationals, I think they have four. Yeah, Nationals have four hits, Braves have 11. But yes, Nationals do pick up a run. And the bottom not I mean in the bottom eighth due to a Matt Adams home run. So we're on our way to the ninth inning. And I did I don't think I saw who was due up. No, I did not see who was due up. But I do know for sure that we will be seeing Francisco Rodney on the mound in the top ninth. So we you know if we can get a few runs off him, that would be great. All right, looks like we got another trade. Now we're getting these trades. Okay, let me see. What I missed? What I missed? What did I miss? Uh. All right. Okay, I don't even know about that one. All right, the Ast okay, that's that's old news too. All right, the Nationals acquired Daniel, Daniel Hudson from the Toronto Blue Jays in exchange for Kyle Johnston and Ronis Elias from the Mariners for Elvis Alvarado and Taylor Gilbo. So a three-way trade between the net on the yeah the Nationals, the Blue Jays, and the Mariners. Milwaukee Brewers. Okay, yeah, I know about. I just read that one. Pomeranz to the Giants for Mauricio Dubon. And the one that just happened recently, about a second ago, the A's require acquiring Tanner Roark from the Cincinnati Reds. And I, I, I got the first name wrong. It's actually Fernando Rodney, not Francisco Rodney. And the ninth inning is underway. And Matt Joyce will be leading off in the top ninth. I like this matchup right here. So we almost we're basically in the bottom. we basically the heart of the um We're basically at the top of the batting order. You know, after uh, Matt Joyce, we're we're back at the top of the batting order, which means the heart of our lineup is getting ready to come up. But if the Nationals can get three outs in a heartbeat, they wanna worry about seeing Freddie Freeman and and Josh Donaldson coming up. But if we can get a hit from Ron Acuna and Matt Joyce. They will be seeing Freddie Freeman and um, likely Josh Donaldson. It's one and one so far for uh, Matt Joyce. All 
Meanwhile, we got the Yankees. And they're showing highlights from the Yankees game. Looks like a Yankee player may be hurt. No, it's not hurt. Okay, he's okay. But I think he dropped the ball, dropped the ball for a surefire out. The Yankees are up 2 0 in the top fourth. As um, Matt Joyce is pop flyed out by Adam Eaton. And the Yankees escape trouble. They, you know, the Diamondbacks had the bases loaded just now. So they escape trouble. They managed to get out on top fourth alive with, without giving up a single run. They hold firm to their 2 0 lead. We got a Jay Z lookalike who caught the home run from um, who who caught the uh, Matt Adams home run for the Nationals. Cause that woman sort of like Jay Z. Meanwhile, now we're back at the top of the bat. North Ron Acuna is up the bat. He is two for four today, and he starts off with a foul ball. No, he does not start with a foul ball. He started off with a ball. Now he got a foul ball. So it's one to one. Meanwhile, Cincinnati, the Reds are up three nothing. It's the sixth inning comes to a close there. Uh, Pirates just recorded a double play. And we got another trade. The Nationals have required Hunter Strickland from the Mariners for Aaron Fletcher. So the Nationals are making moves now. But we have yet to hear anything from the, AT from the ATL Braves. I don't know what type of moves they're going to be doing quite yet. Hopefully they can make something happen soon. As Ron Acuna ground out, grounds out there for the second out. So Ozzy Albies is coming up. A hit there will bring up Freddie Freeman. If he gets out, then we're into the bottom of the ninth. That's just that's, that'll be the third out. He is one for four today. He has an RBI and a double in the third inning. Which probably equivalent to that RBI. No, no, no. To that. Yeah, it's, it did. That did. Uh, it was one for that RBI. I, I'll take that back. But yes, the double he had was uh, responsible for the RBI. Phillies and two out of three Washington at their place. So he's already behind the eighth ball. Strike one. Here's the pitch. Foul ball, strike two. He's zero ball, two strikes for Ozzy Albies. And the odd uh, strikes out. And that is that one, two, three inning for Fernando Rodney. So we're now head to the bottom of the ninth. Adam Eaton, Michael Rendon, I mean, Anthony Rendon, one solo, two up for the Nationals. And both guys, uh, Rendon and Adam Eaton, have zero hits. Now the question is. Who's going to come in for the Braves in the bottom night? Will it be Newcomb? Will it be Luke Jackson? Will it be A.J. Minter? We're going to have to find out about at least a minute and a half when the game comes back on. And uh, I don't see anything about any other trades. Matter of fact, we on commercial here at MLB Central. Uh, MLB tonight. MLB Central went off already.
All right. Hank Aaron Week coming up. Friday, August 2nd, Civil Rights Tour at the King Center. Then August 3rd, which is this upcoming Saturday, the Invitational Showcase Game. As y'all know, Hank Aaron is the greatest Atlanta Braves player of all time. April 8th, 1974. If you're a real Braves fan, you know what happened that day. I only got to recite what happened. And we get to see Luke Jackson. Yay. Not, not happy about it. And this is his 47th game. He has 25. This will be his 25th opportunity. He has recorded 17 saves. ERA 3.60. 50 innings. 67 strikeouts as opposed to 19 balls. So the strike the ball, strike the ball ratio is pretty good. But, you know, he has those moments when he throws those wild pitches and it almost hurt the game. It was just playing to 3.60 ERA. This is three outs. Excuse me. There it is! Oh. Butchered. So Adam Eaton reaches first. With no problem. All right, so Anthony Rendon is up to bat now. All right, that sounds like it's ready to go to YouTube. So I'm going to upload this now. All right, it's ball one. Come on, Braves. Don't fuck this up. Come on, double play. Let's get one. Come on, I need these right quick. All right, straight one. Two weeks ago. That's not good. You gotta tighten up. You know, you know, you're gonna be close to K. Only two, one, two, three innings and only ten attempts. That's not good. Down low, ball two.
I can't fucking, I can't fucking believe that shit. Yo, Uncle Mario gonna butcher two, sure be, sure out. That, that's two out. That's two costly outs right there. And we're 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 down to our final out. Not we. The the Nationals are down to their final out. But no, he butchers it. Now he got two men on base with no outs. And and Rendon is a tie run. So you know. You know Juan Soto is the is the winning run now. Hopefully the next at bat we can go eight, even if we don't get Juan Soto out by strikeout or by ground out, the Braves need to at least get one out on this next at bat. I'm gonna tell you now, if we don't get this, if we don't get it out on this next at bat, it, the Braves could Braves could possibly lose this game. You only up two runs. You know you got you know you got two men on. You, you got to hurt. But you got to get it out on this next at bat for real. Otherwise you might lose. I can't, I can't believe that shit. Talk to everybody who's looking right with a dolphin saddle. You need to take that shit off. Oh, now you want to put in Sean Newcomb. Where the fuck was he in the beginning? You should have been put his ass in. Down low. Bases are loaded now. God damn. Oh my God. If you walk this guy, I think we're going to lose this game. Right. If, they, if they, who's up? If they walk him, the Braves are going to blow this game. I, I, I got a bad feeling about this. God, can we get a can we get one game where you don't make us gotta pull our fucking hair out? Shit.
my god! Leave him in! Shit! No! Don't play him in! Do not put Sabaka in! He's gotta relax! Shit! I know it. This this might be ball game. Damn, wish I was in play. Y'all been an out. That's what we need an out now. some strikes. You know, they're coming off foul balls, but hell, I'll take them right at this point. No balls, two strikes for uh, Gerardo Power. Come on, right down the middle now. Right down the middle, Nukem. Hey, seriously, if you're tired of that rally fade, seriously, you're tired of that. That's stupid.